London Heathrow Airport is one of the world's busiest airports. It is located 23 kilometers west of central London. 120 airlines fly to 316 direct destinations in 98 countries. There are four terminals, 180 parking stands and two parallel runways. One runway is used for takeoff and the other for landings. Airplanes can take off every minute and land every 90 seconds. Around 650 airplanes and 201,000 passengers arrive and depart every day. The flight approach was from the east over London to runway 27R. The airplane started its descent 20 minutes out, at an angle of 3 degrees to the horizontal. Between 13 and 4 miles out the flaps on the trailing edge of the wings are progressively extended. The flaps slide rearwards level for a distance prior to hinging downwards. Flaps allow the airplane to land at a lower speed and to slow down faster on the runway. At 5 miles out, the landing gear was lowered. The airplane touched down on the runway at 140 knots. The air brakes were deployed by raising the hinged panels on the top of the wings to course drag. Airplanes land on the main wheels firstly followed by the nose wheel. The airplane vacated the runway and taxied to a parking stand outside Terminal 2. When the airplane parked outside Terminal 2, chocks were placed to the front and back of the wheels. The air bridge was extended. Temporary electricity supply was connected so the engines could be switched off. We disembarked through the front left door and passed through the baggage reclaim hall before entering the arrivals area. Airports are divided into two areas, land site and air site. The land site area is open to the public, while access to the air site area is tightly controlled. Turn around. Ground handling equipment. Catering trucks transport and load food containers. A scissors lift raises the van's body off the chassis up to cabin level. Baggage and cargo loaders. Unload and load. Baggage tow tractor with baggage carts to transport. Water truck to supply drinking water. Hydrant dispensers to refuel aircraft from underground pipe network with hydrants. Tug to push a plane backwards. Departures is the area of an airport that deals with passengers leaving by a plane. We boarded the airplane by an air bridge. We had a window seat with a good view of the wing's trailing edge and flaps. A tug pushed the airplane back out of the parking stand onto a taxiway. The airplane taxied to runway 27R. The pilot extended the flaps for takeoff. The pilot lined up the airplane on the runway, accelerated and climbed out to the west. After taking off the undercarriage and flaps were retracted. The two main twin wheel legs retract inboard by rotating sideward. The nose dual wheel gear retracts forward. The airplane reached the cruise altitude of 33,000 feet in 20 minutes. Airplanes climb out at an average of 1,500 feet per minute. The airplane was an Airbus A321 Neo, which is a narrow body airplane with a single aisle. Most of the seating is in a 3 plus 3 configuration. There are twin engines. Airplanes have to take off and land into the wind. This determines the runway in use. Runway are numbered from 1 to 36. The number is the compass bearing of the runway truncated to two digits. 
On approach a planes generally line up with the runway, 8 miles out. Taxiways connect the runways with the parking stands and are labeled with letters whereas runways have numbers. Thanks for watching. Please press the like button.